love George Stevens. He was like, a, a, I, to, you know, I, a, a, he was very special. It was like I had a huge crush on him. But it wasn't a, a, a sexual tr crush. It was someone I looked up to and I admired. And when I, he stood up, when I would visit him in his office, he, he, he made me cry and he just, Diana, you know, he'd give me little candies well, before shooting, because it was my first film. I'd I never been on that. camera before. I have to say, how's this? Your first movie is a masterpiece, The Diary of Anne Frank. Pretty good. The movie was. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, he took care of us. He wanted to know, Diana, are you okay today? Do you feel good? Are you ready? Uh, what did he see? Oh, Diana, you were in acting class last night, weren't you? And I said, how did you know? He says, I can tell. I can tell. You're doing something today that I don't want you to do anymore. <laughs> You're acting. I don't want any acting. I learned not to act. Tried to not to act. So if you see me seemingly just listening or being still, I'm capable of stillness. I, can, I found that out about myself. I can be still. In Silence of the Lambs, I found myself just be still, don't do anything. And I teach the students. When I work with them on camera, I say, you don't, Hitchcock taught me this. He said to an actress on the set one day, he said, I don't know who it was, and I won't even say it if I did. Um, he said, there's so much writing on your face, I can't see the expression. Meaning I can't see the dip and the depth of the emotion because there's so much going on. Indicating, is that called Indicating is the word. It's indicating. It's saying, I'm thinking. You know, I'm thinking about that. Well, you don't have to, I think, and I'm not making faces. We're all alive and we're thinking. So I learned to be simple. Try to be as simple as you can and don't, what Melvin taught me, don't watch yourself acting. We just don't saw an watch example yourself. of it. That, your part could have been overacted and it would have been wrong, and you take it you, um, I didn't know any better, but thank God. <laughs> the gentleman was asking about Shelley Winters. Oh, yes. Shelley. Shelley was a riot on the set. She was always alive and big. Um, <laughs> Millie and I both talk about it from time to time. They didn't quite see eye to eye, but she might have said that to you when she came here recently. Um, Shelly was a, was a naughty, sometimes naughty. She did the ammonia, little things to cry, and she would break it sometimes and scared me to death. She broke it once near my nose and I just died. I've never had any, I didn't know anything about ammonia to make an actress cry. I didn't know that you, that she kept them in her bag. But she was really fun, funny, and very, very smart. Um, you know the story of her, Millie and I talk about it from time to time. There were times when George had to treat her like she was a child because they worked on it, the, uh, place, the, the sun. place in the sun. And she was very, she loved George too. We, we all did. Um, but she listened to George and needed George's approval. And there was one particular moment where the morning she started working on the afternoon scene was the coat scene where they spilled milk and she was preparing in her mind for the afternoon scene when she had a scene in the morning that had nothing to do with the coat. It was totally a normal scene just about being yourself in a, under these circumstances. And so George said, Shelley, stop acting. Don't do any more. Don't you're not, we're not at the afternoon scene. We're not playing that scene. The milk is not on the coat. Nothing has happened. We're, you've got to stop get it going emotionally into this moment. So he said, we're stopping shooting. I'm not going to shoot another ounce of film till you go to your dressing room and you're ready to come back on the set. Get rid of the tears. Just get rid of them. So we're all wandering around, sitting, waiting, 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 waiting. She was like a child, maybe eight, ten years old. George, I'm sorry. George, please, George. And I saw again. There's a certain childlikeness, a, a child, where she was needing his, needing his approval, needing him to 
make sure that she did it right for George. George was the most important person at that moment in her life. So I, I got to see all these moments happening between actors, all kinds of things through my career. The moments where people fought, the moments where an actress would say things off the set that you wouldn't want to repeat. Um, but that's the growing up in the business, and I try. Helen once said to me, Diane, I don't know how you survived Hollywood and you're still intact. <laughs> because you made it out of that and you didn't get caught up in all that dirtiness. You just didn't, and I didn't. I stayed away from all those things, stayed away from pot, stayed away from alcohol, really stayed away from getting caught up. Even though I saw passing it one right across my, in the dressing room and I just said, no thanks. No thanks, no thanks.